Maybe you need a little incentive to do the necessary work to make the federal government your customer. The federal government sets contracting goals every year for small businesses. In this video, I'm sharing federal government contracting goals and how you can be a part of their program and get your piece of trillions of dollars being spent every year with small businesses just like you. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Felicia, your government contracting strategist. I help small businesses and even large businesses get into government contracting. I help you guys with that information overload, those bidding nightmares, and just how you can tap into the government marketplace, get your first government contract, get into the 8A program, take your business to a million dollars a year as a government contractor, and then on to those multiple year contracts and those million dollar contracts. So if you're looking to diversify your business into the federal government marketplace, this is the place to be. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I drop new trainings right here on this channel, and go ahead and like this video. All right, so today in this video, we're gonna be talking about the small business categories, contracting goals, and the contracting assistant program. So you're gonna wanna watch this entire video because that contracting program you're going to want to be in it now i know i cover a lot of information in these videos i have hundreds and hundreds of videos here on this channel but i know for some of you guys that's just not enough and sometimes you just want that guidance accountability and even the hand holding as you're going through your government contracting process and so if that's the case i'll definitely put the link down below where you can check out how we can work together and partner together on your journey to becoming a government contractor. Did you know that 99% of the clients that use my government contracting program grow their business from their first government contract onto those million dollar contracts in record time? Oh yeah, the system is proven. All right, let's get into how the government spends with small businesses. So let's start off by talking about the contracting assistance program. To participate in the program, you must qualify as a small business, and you also must qualify based on your size standard, based on your primary NAICS code, in order to be a part of this social economic program. And you can learn more about it at certify.sba.gov. I'll make sure I put that link down in the description as well. So let's talk about the small business categories as it relates to the percentage of contracting dollars being allocated within the program. So if you're a woman-owned small business and you're in that particular program, then they are setting aside 5% of their contracting dollars every year for woman-owned small businesses. Now, I will allow you guys to do the math, but if you think about it, the government is the biggest spender in the world with small businesses. With that being said, and they're spending trillions of dollars every year, take 5%. You probably can't even handle the entire 5%, right? So always know there's enough to go around, even with competition. Now, if you're a small disadvantaged business, if you're in that program, they're setting aside 5% for that social economic category as well. And then we have our service disabled veteran owned small business. They set aside 3% for that category every year. But let me just tell you something. This is not even in my notes, but I'm gonna share this with you. The Department of Veterans Affairs love their service disabled veterans. I'm just gonna leave that there for you, let that sit, let it marinate, and you do with it what you want. And then you also have your small business hub zone. Within this social economic category, they set aside 3% every year for those that are certified in this category. So remember, there's enough to go around. There's plenty of contracting dollars out there. You just need to learn how to set a solid government foundation that you can build on learn who's your customer in the market, get your NAICS codes, make sure you're registered where you need to be registered, get in the contracting programs you need to be in, learn how to bid these contracts. But most importantly, you need to know and be able to perform, be able to have the resources and capacity to deliver. Those three things are really, really important. In my advanced program, my government contractor accelerator program, we focus on 
resources, always increasing your resources, always building on the capacity that you have, and then making sure you can perform on the work that you are awarded. So I want you to comment below. Let me know where are you at in the government contracting process? All right. Are you just getting started? Are you in the growth phase or are you ready to scale? Let me know in the comments if you're just getting started and you're looking for your first government contract, just put getting started in the comments. If you're at the phase where you're ready to grow, maybe you've won a government contract, but you're looking to grow to a million dollars a year with government contracts, put growth phase in the comments. And then if you're ready to scale your business to those million dollar contracts, put scale in the comments. Let us know where you're at in the process. It will allow me to better serve you guys in the trainings that I'm putting here on the channel and even in my programs. I wanna make sure that we're on task with what we're sharing with you here in the community so that it can be helpful and get you to that next level. So let us know in the comments. I can't wait to hear where you're at. All right, so let's dive a little bit deeper into these contracting programs. I wanna give you a little bit more information and I want you guys to commit at the very least to checking this out. Remember, I'm gonna put the link down below in the description for you guys. Now, what I'm about to share with you holds true when, when there are capable small businesses who can do subcontractor work at a fair market value and not significantly disrupt the performance. Let me read that to you word for word because I wanna make sure this sits with you. So what I'm about to share with you holds true when there are capable small businesses who could do subcontract work at fair market value and not significantly disrupt performance. If you want to read more on that, you can check out the FAR 19.7. All right, so subpart 19.7 in the FAR talks about this. So they're talking about large contracts that cannot be awarded to small businesses. The government requires a small business subcontracting plan. And this is required as part of the award of that contract. Prime contractors have to subcontract out a portion of the work to small businesses when the contract is worth more than $700,000 or when it's worth more than $1.5 million when it's a construction contract. So let me read that to you again. I told you which part of the FAR you can go look at, 19.7, all right? So prime contractors are required to have a subcontracting plan in place and sub out a portion of the work to small businesses when the contract is awarded and the dollar value is more than $700,000 or if it's a construction contract when the award amount is more than $1.5 million. Now who's leaving money on the table? So there you have it, how the government spends money with small businesses. There's more than one way to skin the cat. You don't always have to sit in the prime position to get some of those contracts with the government. You can sit as a tier one or a tier two, just as good as being the prime. So no matter where you are in your government contracting journey, don't skip the contracting assistance program. It's a great strategy to use to aid you in achieving your government contracting goals. And this is something you can use year in and year out. So it's not something that you just wanna use as you're just starting out. Maybe you're a new business as a government contractor. This is a strategy that you can use throughout the life of your business and your journey as a government contractor. So no matter where you're at in the process as a government contractor, one thing holds true. You're gonna need leads. And that is why I've created a guide to help you generate leads in your business. And I'm talking about hot quality leads. And I'm talking about giving you things to do from the first meeting in addition to the follow-up. The fortune is in the follow-up, for real. So go ahead and download my six-figure contractor lead generation plan. I'll put the link down below. And remember, we talked about today you being a subcontractor, right? and working with a prime contractor. So we talk about that in that free guide that I'm gonna share the link down below with you to help you generate leads in your business right now. Now, for those of you that have been hanging out here on this channel with me for a while, I have two questions for you today. 
One, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, why not? Don't you think it's time for us to partner on your journey to becoming a government contractor, whether that's winning your first contract, getting to a million dollars a year, or those million dollar contracts? Let's partner together on that. One, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the trainings here. And two, if you have not grabbed that free resource, you need to get that. Not only that, I'm giving you the free resource, but it will also put you on my email list so that when I put out new trainings, uh, ways that we can work together and just some information I only share with those in my private community on my email list You want to be there to get that information as well cost you nothing You just give me your email address and I send things out a few times a week That will help you on your journey to becoming a government contract Go ahead subscribe now to the channel and then go grab that free resource and three Share this video out with three people. I know you know three people that need to get into these government contracts and they could be a subcontractor. Even if they're not ready to be a prime, being a subcontractor is a great place to start. And then remember, you're just one contract away. Bye for now.